no, 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 What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Game of Thrones, season four, episode seven. Seven. Mock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we couldn't help ourselves. We saw the title of the episode. And Mockingbird. Yeah. Ing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Um, last episode, we got possibly one of the more epic speeches that we've seen oh, yet. So badass. I mean, the thing I walked away with that is just the fact that Tyrion, bottom line, took the power away from his father. I mean, yeah, I feel like I feel like he finally like really like I don't give a shit what you say right now. I'm going to stick up for myself and that is all. Like yeah. And by by him declaring that he wants trial by combat, Tywin has no more control. He has no say at all over any of the situation now, which I don't know if that's going to be a good thing for for Tywin or for Tyrion. Um, but it, I mean, I guess it puts his his fate more into his own control, which yeah, which leads to the question: Who do you think we're getting a fight between here? Well, okay, so this is, uh, you know, some theories. So in the Eerie, when Tyrion decided, oh, you know, trial by combat, it was Bronn that took his spot. Only is, because. Because he's of small stature. No, only because Jamie wasn't available. Oh, well, yeah, sorry. His first choice was Jamie. He originally called Jamie, and then, you know, that wasn't going to happen. So, Bronn took his place. Yeah. And then, my my thought is like, oh, well, if, if are they going to make Tyrion fight? And if so, does Tyrion get to pick the person? Like, would he pick Jamie? Because then, Jamie is conflicted, and like, I'm not going to kill my brother, but then, like, Tywin would get... Like, the shit end, because, like, then he doesn't get an heir. Like, if Tyrion would win. Like, these are the thoughts that are going through my head. I just, very, there's lots of stuff. The potential there. is very tricky. I wonder, outside of the fact if they are going to make Tyrion fight, which, which doesn't really seem like it makes a whole lot of sense. This is... Jamie. I would assume, has to represent the kingdom because he's the king's guard he's right. the top soldier in the kingdom who Tyrion is on trial against the kingdom so i assume jamie i don't know if they're going to want to pick him though because of his hand situation um but does he get a choice like i'm predicting i don't know i'm going to predict that we're going to see prince oberon represent for Tyrion and he's gonna fight so? and kill Jamie. No. That's my prediction. That's what I think is gonna happen. Jamie can't die. Oh, no. Everybody can die. Okay, this is true. But it's my immediate I think the obvious selection here is I'm that... actually a little broken up about no, why are you gonna go kill off some people that I'm just starting to like I, now? Because that's what the show clearly does. Um, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I mean, I think the obvious selection is that we're going to see Bronn versus Jamie. You think um, so? Unless there's someone else in the King's Guard that I'm not thinking about or really aware of that they'll pick. I I think that's the obvious choice. What is so, it that that uh, Sir Sir Marin whatever the guy that? Oh, maybe maybe he ends up. I don't know how good of a warrior he is. He's a um, douche. I don't know. But yeah, like it's very interesting to see how this plays out. Do you have any thoughts on any other thoughts on the matchup that we might see? No. Do you have a prediction? Like, what is your prediction? I just have the theories. That's that's, and I, ugh, I wish I could like spit out a thought that was like all in like flowed clearly. There's but, a lot in this show. There's, I can't. There's, there's like, a whole lot going down. Any one of my theories just sounds super choppy because I'm also trying to include everybody's name so that y'all know who I'm talking about instead <laughs> of it's like that dude with the thing and the stuff. 
You ready I'm, to jump in this? You ready to jump in this episode? Did you want to talk about anybody else? You know, someone made a comment that Yara just abandoned the rescue very quickly. And they made it look like she was scared of the dogs. And once once the new turd was like, oh yeah, can you can you run fast? And went to go like unlock the dogs. It made it look like she fled away because of the dogs. I get the vibe based off of what she said when she got back to the boat. Oh. That the moment she realized that Theon wasn't Theon anymore, she was like, we're not going to waste the time anymore. We're not going to risk our soldiers and our people. My brother's gone. He's dead. We need to get out of here. I don't think she was fleeing because she was scared of dogs. They had a they had a pretty sizable uh, like man advantage in terms of how many people she brought. I don't think that was the reason why she left. I mean, I could those were pretty vicious dogs. Though. Yeah, I could be wrong. But, that, I mean, but. you have to weigh your options and you know the possibility of bad things the possibility of good things there's way more possibility of bad things happening than there was to get theon out yeah and he resisted he didn't want to go he is well, completely he's, scared. Yeah, he's completely on lockdown like he, he is 100 percent obedient broken. yeah he's obedient he's broken and what is Ramsey going to have him do? Oh, Ramsey. That guy is a piece of work. Just running out there in his friggin' pants with no shirt on, just going to war and like, ah, 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 like laughing and smiling about it. Like, did, did they kill his chick? They were... I don't know. But someone made a good point, like, between, like, obviously the two worst characters we've seen so far is Ramsey is up there and... And good old King Turd himself. The fact that, like, Ramsey could actually fight and defend himself. Like, Joffrey just runs and hides and goes and seeks <laughs> like, Mama. Like, you take care of it yeah. for me. Like, the fact that Ramsey is, like, a good fighter makes him even scarier as a person because he sucks. He's a crazy. He's, he's literally he's, crazy. He's, yeah, he's literally a psychopath. So, the fact that he could throw hands and fight and use a sword and all that stuff makes him way scarier than... I mean, Joffrey had the power to make things happen. Yes. But Ramsey could actually slice you up and take care of business. So. True. Let's just jump into this episode. You ready? Because there's a whole bunch that we could hit on. We already got a good chunk going. You ready? Yep. Unless there's something else you want to talk about. No. I You're... mean, there's more stuff like yeah. Stannis and all that, but, but yeah. you ready? Just go. Just okay. go. Let's, Let's go. <laughs> to keep your ungrateful head on your ungrateful neck a little while longer. I'm sorry, what am I grateful for? The opportunity to live and die at the wall as punishment for a crime I did not commit. You threw your life away. You threw it away. You fell in love with a whore. Yes, I fell in love with a whore. I am Shay. Stupid enough to think that she'd fallen in love with me. That deal you made, it was everything Father wanted. It felt good to take that from him. He knows I'm innocent, and he's willing to sacrifice me anyway. You're the golden son. True. You can kill a king, lose a hand, fuck your own sister, you'll always be the golden son. Careful. I'm the last friend you've got. Is well, it? I mean, he's not lying. No, that's, yeah. Brilliant speech. They'll be talking about it for days to come. I thought you were a realist. Didn't realize you'd die for pride. Don't give up on me just yet. I can't save you this time either. Yeah. My training has proved that I can't beat a stable boy with my left hand. Even if you lose, imagine the look on father's face when you fall. <laughs> Our family name snuffed out with a single swing of the sword. Too tempting. <laughs> Except you die, don't you? I'm like, uh, yeah. Who does Cersei plan on naming as a champion? Right. Or is she gonna go with Oberyn? Oh, oh shit. Who the? What the fuck? Who the hell is this guy? Uh, <laughs> oh! Shit. This is who Cersei's gonna have? Holy that shit. That dude is freaking huge. <laughs> Dang. Just steps right over it. God, she's <laughs> evil. So, Gregor. Sir Gregor. To the capital. Who am I fighting? Does it matter? Dude, this fool is gigantic. He needs to be on WWE, y'all. Ron Strowman. Yeah. <laughs> Could be food. Could be soldiers. 
<laughs> He's always thinking about food. It's yeah. so awesome. Some more chicken. Oh. Bad way to go. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I'm glad enough. I know. Time to go. Take matters into my own hands. Nothing could be worse than this. Maybe nothing is worse than this. Nothing isn't better or worse than anything. Nothing is just nothing. Hmm. Could I have a drink? Dying is thirsty work. Wish it were wine. So do I. Better than just sitting there. Oh shit! What the hell? What the fuck is this? What the? Whoa! The king's dead. He drank poison wine at his own wedding. You were Euron's prisoners when he was taking me to the wall. He told me he'd fuck me bloody with a stick. He on your little list. I don't know his name. What's your name? <laughs> Rouge. Thank you. Oh shit! <laughs> what? Uh, uh, okay. And wipe it on him. Wow. All right. Uh, um. Arya is so fucking savage. Dude. Love it. That was a little shocking. I'll admit. Lord Snow. Lord Snow. Is that some respect? This is no place for wild beasts. Oh, it's... Lock him away. No. Or I'll let Hop throw him in tonight's stew. No. Good luck. Come on, ghost. <laughs> oh, I love ghosts. Oh my god. We can't defend the gate against 100,000 men. This castle has stood for thousands of years. And in all those centuries, we have never sealed the tunnel. Have you ever seen a giant, Sir Allison? The tunnel's gate won't stop them. The bars on those gates are four inches thick. Cold rolled steel. And they won't stop them. Too much ego to listen to John. Honestly. My lord, you have new clothes. Do you like him? Eh? It looks kind of, kind of weird. Gloves are doskin. I'm to wear Lollis Stokeworth. Lollis Stokeworth? When my sister arranged this love match, did she mention that Lawless has an older sister? Felice. She gets Castle Stokeworth when her father dies. Unless she happens to perish before her father, then Lawless gets the castle. Ladies fall from their horses and smack their pretty necks all the time. Damn! You and my sister deserve each other. If you want me to kill the mountain for you, it better be a damn big castle. Why should I risk it? I'm your friend. And when have you ever risked your life for me? This is real shitty. I'm getting anxious to see what happens. I'm, I'm getting upset. I like you. Fearing us to say goodbye we again? We had some good days together. Yes, we did. He's, uh, how do you not feel bad now? I'll have to kill the mountain myself. Won't that make a great song? I hope to hear them sing it one day. This is sad. This is very sad. What the hell's gonna happen? I swam to an island a mile offshore for these. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> I love I them together. Them like wildflowers. Forgive me, my queen. I live to serve you. He wants to serve her in other ways. Tell me why you're here. And as for women, there are thousands in Marine you can pursue. There's only one, and she does not want me. My sword is yours till the day I die. Do what you do best. Does that have to do with his other sword? I was just gonna see that I'm like, we're talking, which sword are we talking about? <laughs> Take off your clothes. Oh shit. Danny got her groove back. <laughs> You are strong enough to look into the Lord's light and see his truth for yourself. 
however hard for us to understand. What is she going to get her to do? You don't need my help, but I will need yours soon. When we set sail, your daughter must be with us. Is she going to sacrifice her own daughter? The Lord needs her. What the fuck? Are you here? See our queen? She's in a good mood. Oh, I'm so sure she is. <laughs> Look at Jorah's like, damn it! Dario Naharis killed his captains and dumped their heads at your feet when he grew tired of their commands. How could you ever have faith in a man like that? I could never have faith in a man like Dario. Ordered Dario to execute every master in your Shit. Slavery is real. I can end it. I will end it. And I will end those behind it. I wouldn't be here to help you if Ned Stark had done to me what you want to do to the masters of Yunkai. Shit. The man who came to me the other day about burying his father. He will accompany the second sons and serve as my ambassador to Yunkai. He will tell the masters what has happened in Marine. They can live in my new world or they can die in their old one. Damn. She's hardcore. She plays a dangerous game though. I'm going out to Dario before he leaves. Tell him you changed my mind. Stabbed and bitten. No rewards worth this much trouble. We should never lay eyes on you. All right. My brother gave me this. Pressed me to the fire like it was a nice juicy mutton chop. Why? I thought I stole one of his toys. I didn't steal it. I was just playing with it. The pain was bad. The smell was worse. But the worst thing was that it was my brother who did it. And my father, who protected him, told everyone my bedding caught fire. Dude. Can I get you anything else? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Oh, hot pie. Thank you. Goodie pie is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Do my best. Look at him. A good kidney pie. Thriving. See, a lot of people give up on the gravy. You cannot give up on the gravy. No gravy. No pie. Simple as that. Cool. Nice, nice story, bro. We're looking for someone. Someone in particular? Maybe they came in here. Her name is Sansa Stark, but she may be using a different name. I don't think we should be telling people we're searching for Lady Sansa. Good call, Pod. Never met no Sansa Stark, but I know her sister. Oh yeah. Heading up north for the Night's Watch. She was all dressed up as a boy. Well, like your ladyship, only without the armor. Going by the name Harry. Could you give her this? You should like the last one I gave her, but... Another dire wolf! <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> Cersei approached me. She was trying very hard to pretend she had not come to sway me against ah, her. Ah, well, you She may have even believed it herself. It is rare. To meet a Lannister who shares my enthusiasm for dead Lannisters. <laughs> you You're gonna fight, fight for him, aren't you? It looks as though I've taken care of that myself. We met, you and I, many years ago. You had just been born. The whole way from dawn, all anyone talked about was the monster that had been born to Tywin Lannister. When we met your sister, she promised she would show you to us. She unveiled the free. No claw, no red eye, no tail between your legs, just a tiny pink cock. <laughs> we didn't try to hide our disappointment. That's not a monster, I told Cersei. That's just a baby. And she said he killed my mother. And she pinched your little cock so hard I thought she might pull it off until your brother made her stop. It doesn't matter, she told us. Everyone says he will die soon. I hope they are right. He should not have lived this long. That's awful. Right. Cersei always gets what she wants. And what about what I want? Justice. Let's go. For my sister and her children. I want to bring those who have wronged me to justice. And all those who have wronged me are right here. I will begin with Sir Gregor Clegane who killed my sister's children. 
and then raped her with their blood still on his hands before killing her too. I will be your champion. Oh my god. <sighs> Love it! He's like on my list of good people, like amazing. No, I'm afraid not. How do you make people fly? <laughs> we don't. I'm Lord of the Veil. When I grow up, I'll be able to fly anybody who bothers me. All right, slow down. And you, when we get married, you can tell me if you don't like somebody, and then we can bring them back here and whoosh, right through the moon door. When we get married. Ew. Sound like that. Let's put a moon door in your Winterfell. It can go in here, in this big be house. Careful. Uh. You've ruined it. It was already ruined because it didn't have a moon door. I did it! Now you ruined it, you little shit. Whoa, what are you doing? Uh. You shouldn't have done that. No, his mother should have. A long time ago. Uh, I feel like he's gonna tell if Lysa. She tells Aunt Lysa. Let me worry about Aunt Lysa. Why did you really kill Joffrey? I loved your mother more than you could ever know. Given the opportunity, what do we do to those who've hurt the ones we love? Ew. Ew. Are you trying to, like, come on to her? Uh, nah. You're more beautiful than she ever was. Okay, gross. You're gross. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Ew, and Liza's watching, isn't she? Oh, gross. Oh, no. shit. No, not Sansa. Come here, Sansa. No, don't go over there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fascinating. What happens to bodies when you hit the rocks from such a height? Sometimes pieces remain intact. You find a head sitting on its own. I know what you did. I never should have hit Robin, I know it. I promise it won't happen. You with me, you little whore. You kissed Peter, didn't you? Don't understand. I saw you. He is mine! My father, my husband, my sister, they all stood between us and now they're all dead. Down! Look! Down, up, down, up, down! Lisa! Let her go. Jesus! You want her. Jeez. <laughs> you psycho. Can someone send Liza but flying? But he's making everybody psycho! That's what he does. <laughs> Chaos is a ladder. Everywhere he's gotta go. <laughs> Just throw her down the friggin' thing. I have only loved one woman. And it sure shit wasn't My you. Entire life. Captain Stark. Oh shit! Oh shit! Holy shit, this guy! Oh my god! Damn. That's it? Mm. I need to know what happened! Right now. Damn it, we're not gonna see the friggin' battle. Ah Dude. But Liza, falling out going flying. Bye bye. What's gonna happen to Robin now? He's going flying too. You think so? Why would they oh, keep Oh well, yeah, because Peter wants to be Lord of the Veil. Why would he why would they keep him around? I don't know. Peter ain't keeping that kid around. He's a little shit anyways. Yeah. But I don't want him to die. Like what the f like people are y'all are nuts. You think it's Everybody ironic? Everybody on this show is nuts. You think it's ironic that his name is Robin? He's gonna be flying. He's gonna go flying. That's awful. How could you want a child to die, it's not, about it's not about wanting a child to die. These, these are the jokes. Yeah. These are the jokes. It's just, in this world... The, thank you for being a fictional show. Yeah. Good lord. It's just, this is the way it's gotta be. But damn. Like, what the fuck? I need to know what happens with Tyrion he, in this episode. Robin. One episode. Five hours long. That's all I need. <laughs> Robin is as dangerous as Joffrey was. Well, he's that willing kid to is get so, pissed off at little things. But that kid's yeah. so twisted because he's been basically, you know, pampered his entire life that 
you upset him, you go flying. <laughs> he just sends people down his friggin... People that bother me, what go is that, flying. What is that place called? The Moon Door. The Moon Door. He just throws people in the... Like, he, that kid would be an absolute disaster in control. Disaster. Yeah. But damn. We didn't get the Tyrion fight, but we do know who's fighting who. Which, again, didn't realize that was the mountain. Yeah. That's the mountain. I fully that understand. That definitely, that 100% wasn't the same person who sliced the head off of the horse. Right. Completely different people. Yeah. So I think that was, I think people had warned us that that was also a recast. Okay. Because the mountain previously was more built like the hound. Because they're brothers. That's what I feel like. He wasn't all jacked out of his brains and just gigantic like right, a mountain. Right, because that's not the same guy that yeah. was riding the horse and then... I hope we're not wrong about that. R.I.P. that poor horse. Yeah, I hope we're right about that. I hope we're, like, hope we're not completely missing something. Well, he but, said Gregor Clegane. Well, yeah, that's him. Like... They, I, I, oh, I okay. recall... I do recall... I think they said, like, two or three people were recasted this season. I'm pretty sure our moderators told us that, yeah. too. Yeah. So, Sorry, guys. So yeah, I swear we paid attention. We hadn't seen him in a long time, so I don't. I didn't. I didn't recall. But I got half of the fight right. Totes. I took a leap. Yeah. I, I just had a feeling that like the, from the moment we met Obrin, like we we he gave He's us a, a hit. dangerous mother yeah. effort. And he made it very clear that he was there to cause a little bit of a problem mm -hmm. because he he had that little interaction with the uh, with Tyrion or with. Well, he had the interaction with Tyrion, In the and then he yeah. basically threatened Tywin also. Yeah. And so, like, he, he, he's, he, it was clear that they sent him there. Well, he has a mission. For a mission. Yes. yes. Yeah. And it actually seems like it's playing out a lot better for him because he now has a valid reason to fight and kill somebody. I feel like he has nothing to lose, so he's willing to just risk it all. Yeah. He's going to smoke the mountain. You think so? Yeah, I think he's going to smoke the mountain. I think he. I, I. I can't wait to see him in a full fledged battle. I want cause... Cersei to be disappointed to like the maximum yeah, degree. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, I don't know. I don't know what if if Tyr if if Tyrion's champion loses, does his champion and him die? Well, I mean, if he loses, he would have been killed by the other. No, but I'm talking about Tyrion. Like, does Tyrion also die if his champion gets killed? I think so. Yeah. He doesn't, he won't get sent off to the wall like his dad promised? Uh, I don't know. I guess it, I don't know. I, it depends on the... Does that deal still stand? Right. It depends on the, the details of the deal. But yeah. I feel like you would probably have to die because that's how you would typically die. Right. If you were... That's like the rules of battle. Well, right, the, the, trial rule, by the trial by combat, like that, oh, it would just, you would be dead. Right. I was really hoping we were going to get that this episode. Me too, man. Dang it. So fucked up. Uh, and more, more with Daenerys continues. She's, she's playing a very dangerous game. Mm -hmm. Like she's playing it like. But I mean, at least she's starting to listen to somebody other right. than. And that know, was. Her revenge. That was another comment that I'd seen is like, this is her first time ruling and being in control she's gonna have a little bit of growing pains she's got to learn along the way 160 something folks dead that's just growing pain yeah i mean <laughs> you make bad decisions i mean oh God. like it's just kind of you know she 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 feels like the only way that you could repay those kind of deeds is with those kind of more, more deadly deeds okay so like she's learning. She, she, I mean, she's got two really experienced soldiers advising her. She just needs to listen, and I think we got a little bit of that here in this episode. Also, going back to Baelish, is he gonna like try and like wed Sansa now? I think that's yeah. Oh, gross. And I mean, it I'm goes. I'm so sorry, Sansa. Yeah, it, Poor, like I just want to hold her. I mean, and just keep her safe. He gets to take over. He gets to take over the Eyrie and Winterfell. Does he become? Oh yeah. Does he be? If he marries Sansa, does he immediately be? Well, no, because isn't Bronn still, or Bran still technically the? Yeah, but the, they think that they're dead. Right. So I guess it really doesn't matter. It's whoever takes the throne. I guess. 
this dude. This is a lot, yo. He just plays. He just plays the game of chaos. That's all he cares about. Climbing the ladder. He's like slowly growing, going up this thing, and just gaining more and more and more and more power and more control. Everything outside of the Jon Snow and and the one and Theon, I think, is the other storyline where that that probably doesn't have any bearing off of Littlefinger's actions. Um, but yeah, outside of that, everything else is, he's responsible for everything else. Right. The whole war, everything, Ned dying, like everything that played out because he convinced Liza to kill John Aaron, mm -hmm. then made her write the letter sending that to the Starks, that it was the Lannister's fault for doing it. Which, that... boom, chaos has ensued. Mm -hmm. And it's just been an absolute downhill, just everything that has played out is because of him. N Rob being dead. I'm sure he had something to do with uh, him marrying, what's her name? Talisa? Yeah, like I'm sure that, I'm sure that's even all connected at some point. Like everything, I feel like everything that has played along that storyline is all based off of what what Littlefinger has done. I'm proud of that you. That fool. I'm proud of you, babe. I could be wrong. I mean, I... I feel like it makes sense, though. It, I mean, maybe, It totally, yeah. like, it, like, it all clicks all, for, for me. And and he's been able to do all of it while not being there. Watch, we're wrong. Everybody yeah. behind the camera is laughing yeah. right now. Which is fine. Stop laughing. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. I'm sure we'll get a, like, we'll, we'll get an, a, an explanation behind everything, I'm sure, at some point. Um, but, yeah, I, I get the feeling that he is the guy behind the controls, just pushing all the buttons, making everything happen. It's crazy, because I did not expect that. I said that last video. Yeah. I didn't, like, I knew he, I thought he was a small player just trying yeah. to make his way through yeah. this world, but in reality, no. he's like the top player. He's so, he's really good at that. Yeah, so, all right, that was a lot. Anything else? I think we'll, anything that we miss, we yep. will talk about exactly. next episode. I think that's it, it, the big thing we'll talk next episode. I think that's the best way to kind of let it settle. And yeah, that, the, unfortunately, this is the last Game of Thrones video for the week. Next week, we are going to finish season four, which is awesome. That's insane. Yeah. So eight, oh, nine, God. and ten. Oh, God. No, the nines and the tens, yeah. man. Shit. Eight, nine, and ten will be next week. I'm not prepared. Yeah, that's going to be really exciting. I'm very excited for that. Does that mean that nine is when we find out some shit? I don't know. Because every freaking season thus far, nines are so fucked up. Yep. Something wild's going to go down. You just have to expect it. Well, I mean, unless you count two in this one. Well, yeah, for sure. But that was like a cool That thing. was like a good thing. Yeah, that was cool. That was fun. Um, but yeah, so that'll happen next week. Um, as always, leave them comments below. We will talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe. Join the ever-growing daily sticker fam. How Sava. How Sava. You know. You know how it goes. Hit that subscribe button. You can hit that bell for notifications, too. Notification squad. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.